All right, guys, welcome to my full <laughs> my full tutorial for YouTube on my flavor choreography. Um, just a few notes. The best way to actually learn a choreography, in my opinion, keep drilling that. <laughs> A quick tip uh, from me on how to actually learn a choreography, or at least this is the way that I used to do it. As you're going along, I think the first step is to just drill the move that you're learning into your muscle memory. So whatever move it is, just keep doing it until it starts feeling like it's been drilled into your brain and your, your legs. Once you've got that down, then I would say practice going faster. There is a way to do choreography or practice choreography slower. And I would say the easiest way to do it is to go to Instagram Reels. You select the song that you want. And then where it says speed, you click on times two. And that kind of slows the music right down. You can practice uh, the choreography that you've learned to a very slow BPM but it is the same song and yeah once you're comfortable with that you can practice going faster and faster and then I guess the end step would be as soon as you have the entire choreography down that's when you can start sort of adding in your own spice or your own and your own arm movements because that's some sometimes something that we kind of leave out as the arm movements because there's so much footwork going on but yeah, once you've got the footwork down, the lower body, then I would also say add in whatever arm movements that you like. Five, six, seven, and eight. So 
you can run through that in your own time. So if you need to just keep practicing that part over and over again, it's fine. Do that. But we're going to move on now to the second eight count. So we are here at the end of the first eight count. And what we're going to do is we're going to put all our weights onto the left foot, right? As we bring the right foot round and you can accentuate it with your arms as well. Okay, round, and then bring your left knee up as, well, as you lean back onto your right foot. Okay, so we go. One, two, and three, and four. All right, let's do that again. So we're here, crisscrossy, and we go round, one, drop back, two, so as we're dropping back, we come up with this knee, okay? You can use your arms. One, two, one, two, three, kick out to the right-hand side, then bring it back in, bring it back in to rest on your left leg, okay? Bring it out, bring it in, and make as though you are kicking this leg to make this one come out, just like that. Okay, you don't have to go anywhere, you just stay centered. So it's one, two, and three, and four. Okay, we're gonna run through that from the start of the second eight count. Okay, we're here. We pop up and we pop up, and then we go one, and two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. Yeah, this is probably going to be the hardest part, but uh, we'll go through it very slowly. All right, we're on four. Five is going to be this left foot coming down and this right foot coming up. Okay, so we've just kicked three and four. Then we go five and six. Okay, it's like a seesaw. Bum, bum, bum. Anyways, okay. So three and four. Keep the leg up and then drop it down, bring right up. Five and six. Alright, so it's like almost like a soccer kick. Turn around. We're doing a rotation. Five and six and seven. Then we then we go onto our left foot to be able to launch off of it. All right. You launch off of it into the air, and as you go around, you touch both heels. Boom, boom. You land again on your right foot. Okay. So. If we try and go that slowly, five and six and seven and eight, okay? That's without any arms. And we, we end up here to go into the next eight count. What I do is when we're launching off this foot, we're launching that kitten, okay? We're launching off the left foot to get around and onto the right with left foot up okay so let's try that five and six and seven and you can even start turning in and eight okay <laughs> it's a bit hard to do it slow but you've got to have that balance but yeah so let's run through the first the second eight counts all together one Two and three and four, five, six and seven and eight. Cool. Go over that 
that slowly. Try it again if you need more help with that specific part. Another way I can explain it, okay, real quick, is just you here, four, five, and six, okay? You can even drill this, okay? Drill this. You're just lifting up the right leg up in front of the left leg, and then behind, you jump in between, okay? Okay, five and six, and then all you're really doing is straightening that leg and turning to the side, or you can kick it if you really want to extenuate the move. Five and six and seven and eight. Okay, great stuff. We're going to move on to the third eight count. Which starts us off here with the left leg up. Getting ready to go into running man. So we are going to go one and two and three. Another kind of soccer kick, okay? Three and four. Okay, let's do that again. One and two and three and four. Okay, remember the, the camera, uh, so to say, would be in front of us. So we start off with the camera to our left hand side. And we do two running line, one, two, and three, just step forward onto your left foot. Three, and, and then lift the right foot. Then step back onto your right foot. And, and turn to face the camera. Four. All right? One, and two, and three, and four. Okay. You are my sweet John. You're my baby. Hi. All right, let's take five. Recap, let's run through the first and second eight counts. Okay. One and two and three and four. Five, six, seven and eight. Seven, one, two and three and four. Five and six and seven and eight. Well done. Straight into seven, toe heel, and eight. Yes, okay, let's run through the entire first third eight counts. One, two, three, and four, and five, and six, seven, and eight. Well, we can do it one more time. Let's 
quickly try and get through the last eight count. Seven and eight and. Then we go. One and. Okay? Tap the left. Tap the right, sorry. Tap the left. Okay, no, it's one and two, three, four. Okay, so what we're doing is tap the right, tap the left. Okay? One and two. It's like we, we're kicking the right leg forward. And then we're jumping back onto the right leg and kicking the left leg forward. Up. Okay? You can practice doing this just like the can can. <laughs> okay. So one and two, three, four. If you're not comfortable with doing that, I have an alternative. You can. One and two, three, four. If you don't like the jumps, you can go one and two, three, four. You know this little seesaw? Right, you might be familiar with it. You can do that if you do not like the jump. So, let's try that again. One and two, three, four. One and two, three, four. Notice that I'm, I'm jumping, I'm using the back leg to really get me up. And the front leg is kind of scooping or kicking. Whatever actually feels right for you. So don't get too caught up on the tiny details. All right? And if you're doing it the, my other recommended way, it's, it's one and two, three, four. Then we end off five. Okay? So we're going down from right down. And we kind of just go halfway. We're not going all the way up. Well, you can if you want to. But we're kind of like halfway up, all right? And we do this little heel toe thing, toe at the back, heel at the front, and we're pointing down as well. Together, down, together, down. And it's like you're moving your hips to the side as well. Show off to the side, show off to the side, down. We are almost done. <laughs> so let's go slowly. One and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. All right. The end is just a body wave. It's just a up and ah, confidence. <laughs> and that is the choreo done. So let's go through it from the beginning very slowly. All right. One and two. One 